What is up, guys? We are at the point of the shrug. Yes, that is right. The famous shrug challenge. And, uh, you know, it's probably one of my favorite Jordan moments in all of history. It's just hilarious when he does that little shrug. And, uh, it takes place in the first half of game one of the 1992 finals, I believe, versus the Trailblazers and Clyde the Glide Drexler. Um, just in case you didn't see, oh yeah, it also takes place at the Bulls in their old barn, which uh, I think they did very well in this game. I haven't really talked about it much, but I think they made it very well and very how it was back in the day, which I, I appreciate the ending now of the 2K Team 4. Um, in case you did not see the challenges at the very beginning of the video, you can either rewind or I'll just tell them to you right now. Um, the challenges for this Jordan challenge to earn the shrug, I have to score 35 uh, or more points in the first half, make six or more three-pointers in the first half, hold Clyde the Glide Drexler to under 20, which that will be much harder than when I had to hold Dominique Wilkins under 25, because obviously I had five more points leeway, but whatever. And of course, win the game. And I would just like to spend the rest of the video talking to you about this NBA season and it's here guys <laughs> the NBA season's here and uh, you know I just want I just want to know what uh, you the viewers thoughts and predictions are on this you know upcoming NBA season like you know I've asked this before but who do you think who do you guys think will win the championship this year the MVP or hell even the all-star game I guess or slam dunk challenge who do you think will be in the slam dunk challenge and who do you think will be coach of the year and all that good shit but uh, I definitely like to know from you guys please leave it down in the comment section if you would and uh, you know there's all this hype about the heat oh they're gonna you know they're gonna win tons and tons of championships and I don't believe the hype at all I really think that you to be truly good you need a dominant big man they do not have one so if they play say the Celtics which they play tonight or the Magic they are screwed because they don't have anyone to guard Dwight Howard or Paul Gasol or Bynum so they're pretty much fucked but people are saying they're going to go 70 beat 72 and 10 the Bulls record there's no way that record is so tough to beat I don't even think they'll come, well they might come closer, I think they'll get probably around 65 or 66 wins, but they will not get more than 72, that record will not be broken for a long, long time. But the video is wrapping up, I'm about to go watch the Celtics beat the Heat's ass, that's right, I said it, Celtics are going to beat the Heat's ass, mark my words. Uh, so, see you later guys, peace.